Howdy, I'm Josh from Colossus Fit and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly do the dumbbell shoulder press. Let's jump right into it, waste none of your time. So first and foremost with the dumbbell shoulder press, as always, we're going to have weight selection and we're going to have the bench set up. So let's start there. As you can see here, you want a slight angle on the bench so you don't slip forward the bottom lip of it. You want it to keep you nice and cushioned in your seat. Where a lot of people will go wrong is they'll do the shoulder press on a straight plane, they'll have the bench all the way up, it puts you in a really awkward position to uh, press from. You actually want a slight incline there. You don't want a deep, deep incline, but as you can see on the screen, this is just perfect. From there, we're gonna go ahead, grab our dumbbells, pop them on our knees. When selecting a weight, as always, don't start with a hero weight, start light, learn the form, and then work your way up. Now that I have my weight, a key thing here, you wanna make sure you have that weight right at the end of your knees. The reason for this, as you can see, when I kick up that weight, it's a lot easier. If I have the weight tight to me, it's gonna be a crazy struggle to get it up. I don't like that whatsoever. So we're gonna plant our feet nice in front of us, weights at the tip of my knee here, and we're gonna kick that weight up to our starting position. So the next mistake people will make from here is we'll try to press like this. It's the way you all think it's to be done, what most people end up doing but that is not correct as you can see on the screen here you want your elbows tucked in this is going to prevent you from pinching your shoulder it's going to feel a lot more a lot more natural and it's going to keep you away from pain from here we're going to go ahead and push those dumbbells straight up squeezing through the shoulder and what a common mistake people will make here is is they'll try and touch the dumbbells together that isn't necessary just squeeze your shoulder for some people the dumbbells might come together they may not but just focus on maximizing that squeeze from here, we're gonna let our elbows drop down in control, nice and slow, as you can see me doing on the screen. Now, how deep you go is up to you. You don't need to touch your dumbbell to your shoulder. If you have great mobility, no previous injury, you don't mind working the chest a little bit, you can go that low. But for most people, going right to a 45 degree angle will be absolutely fine. Play with it, see where you feel best, but make sure you are going deep enough to get the benefit of the movement. The first common mistake, and this happens very often, as you can see on the screen here, it's turning the dumbbell shoulder press into the incline dumbbell press. That's when you let your butt sag forward, you arch super hard in that spine, it's gonna cause a lot of discomfort in your spine and you're not working the muscle you're intending to work. We're trying to primarily use our anterior deltoid here. Of course, the lateral posterior, even a little bit of the chest will be engaged, but we are primarily trying to work the front of our shoulder. So let's keep it that way. Number two, as you saw from that guy on the screen, that is not it. Half reps are not the move. You're gonna be leaving a lot of results on the table. The negative is super important here. You wanna to learn to press in a nice full range of motion, really making sure to elongate the shoulder as well as contract it effectively. Don't be that guy on the screen. Third common mistake to avoid, as I said earlier, is just pressing completely to the side. This is how you pinch your shoulder, even if you think jiu-jitsu, kimuras and stuff. You're causing a lot of tension and pinching in there. This isn't an optimal position. I can't even extend my arms from here. See how I get caught? Doesn't make sense to train in it. Don't be scared to bring those elbows forward. For whatever reason, people think this is wrong, it's incorrect, but it's awesome, it's better information is being passed around. People are realizing, wow, this is the right thing. And now you know to do it right as well. So make sure to bring those elbows forward. And once again, if you love this video, please make sure to like it. Really means a lot. Let's us know we're putting out great content that's helping you. Make sure to subscribe and definitely be sure to check out with my coaching. First link in the description down below. Peace out.